mother of this terminally ill seven year old girl says he was sold false promises. Richard Mazinski hired wellness walk in tubs to install a custom made accessible bathtub, but he says the company fraudulently billed for services that weren't done and left him with an unusable tub for his daughter. As chief investigative reporter Eric Ross reports, this case is now part of an active criminal investigation. Mazinski isn't the only customer who feels wellness walk-in tubs took advantage of them. While the owner denies any wrongdoing, it's ultimately up to police to decide whose story doesn't hold water. Life is no easy task for seven-year-old Abigail. She has a condition called Accardi syndrome, which is only a thousand in a whole world. It's a rare neurologic disorder that impacts the brain. Abigail has frequent seizures, and doctors say the average lifespan for girls with Accardi syndrome ranges from just 8 to 18 years old. She can't sit on her own, she can't stand on her own, she can't speak. With the help of a special grant from the Resource Exchange, a Colorado Springs organization helping people with disabilities, Mazinski hired wellness walk-in tubs to build a specialized bathtub for Abigail. The tub was put in, but Abigail can't use it. There's no seating for her. She can't sit in it. Um, there's no support, no stability. So it's just kind of a piece of furniture. Mazinski says the company was supposed to install a mesh type harness similar to a hammock. Instead, the company installed this multi point seat belt, which Mazinski says doesn't provide full support. Then came plumbing issues. This was the plumbing that he had used um, for her tub. So right on this side of the bathtub, there's an electrical outlet that he had installed. The electrical outlet had no surge protection or GFI protection or anything like that. So this pipe right here is pretty much a rubber hose, which from my understanding from Pike's Peak, you can't use. This wasn't even glued or secured. The only piece of glue he has on it is right there. So if this would have popped off with the pressure and the water would have shot up, it would have hit the electrical. Mazinski says with the electrical and plumbing work so close together, he feared a leak could have electrocuted and possibly killed his daughter. He provided us an invoice from a plumbing company where a technician named Billy said the bathtub was installed using parts not approved for above ground plumbing. The account notes also said the water lines and supplies for the tub were not installed per code and put the tub at risk for future leaks. News 5 investigates also discovered proper work permits for the job were not obtained, something wellness walk-in tubs charged for in this itemized bill. He knew he wasn't supposed to be doing major electrical work without a licensed electrician. He knew he wasn't supposed to be doing plumbing without having a plumber. Hi, I'm Sean from Wellness Walk-In Tubs. This is Sean Welch, the owner of Wellness Walk-In Tubs. He said he couldn't talk on the record about a particular customer's issue, citing privacy concerns. But when we asked about contractors performing electrical and plumbing work, in an email, Welch says he uses licensed plumbers and electricians where necessary and points out that it's up to those licensed contractors to ascertain the necessity of a permit outside of their liberties within their licensing. It's unclear why that did not happen in this case. I ordered a custom made tub. Jesse Montoya is another customer who feels she was taken advantage of. Now she didn't order just any tub. She ordered a $10,000 luxury tub with a $1,300 cozy package option. To this day, I still don't know what a cozy package is. And they keep saying cozy package, cozy package. I have no clue what that is. And if a luxury tub with a cozy package isn't luxurious enough, let's not forget about a special add-on for micro bubbles. He said, uh, micro bubbles is going to make your skin feel so well, you wonder how you ever lived without it. But she has survived without it, more than a year after giving wellness walk-in tubs a $6,500 down payment. She says the day before the company was supposed to install her tub, they called and canceled the appointment. On the day before, they called me and they said that they were too busy. So I asked them, well, does that mean you're going to come in three or four days? Or They said, we will let you know. Welch disputes this, claiming Montoya came in weeks after placing her order to change the door design on the tub. Montoya is adamant that's not true. 
But without getting into a he said, she said argument, here's what we do know. A contract was signed between Miss Montoya and Wellness Walk-In Tubs on March 14, 2018. On March 23rd, Montoya cuts a check for $6,500. On April 17th, the tub was supposed to be installed. A few weeks later on May 1st, Montoya still has no tub and demands a refund. I uh, asked uh, Sean for the deposit back and he was never in the shop. He was avoiding my calls. He never answered. I kept calling and they said, he's going to call you tomorrow. Well, tomorrow never came. Welch has refunded all but $1,000 of Montoya's money and respectfully declines any further refund, citing the company's cancellation policy. I know so many people uh, that are living from paycheck to paycheck or from I'm meaning Social Security checks to Social Security check. And I'm afraid that if they get into a situation like this, it might happen to them and they can't afford to even lose $10. And circling back to Mazinski's case, in addition to filing a police report, Mazinski also filed a complaint with the state, alleging wellness walk-in tubs charged Medicaid for damages they caused during installation and falsified invoice records. Now, the state does not comment on active investigations, but did say they take complaints like this very seriously. Colorado Springs police maintain they are actively working this criminal case. Meanwhile, Welch says he's done nothing wrong and told me he's in business to help the disabled community. He also adds these complaints represent a very small portion of his clientele. You can read more about this developing case right now on our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates.